Yay! So we're going to do cleaning dentures. That's so fun. Um, so we're going to do hand hygiene. You're going to walk in the room. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to provide privacy. And you're going to you're going to have the uh, patient uh, to identify, or to identify the patient. And you're going to check their chart. Okay, policies, procedures, anything else going on with this patient. So uh, we'll also throw in, or what are we doing? Um, cleaning dentures, we're going to do a gown change in there, and we'll do nail care. So for dentures, if the patient can do it themselves, that's great. So you want to, you just want to talk to your patient first, and they gather your supplies that you're going to need. You're going to bring the bed up to your height, use the set bedside table, and um, some of the supplies that you're going to need for cleaning dentures would be a small cup because you're going to need to put the dentures in the cup because we don't want to drop them. They're extremely fragile and it, or I shouldn't say extremely fragile. They easily can break if you drop them um, and they're very expensive. So you're going to put them in a cup. Um, if you need a water basin, if you're going to wash them there by bedside, um, I'd probably just take it to the running water because it's fresh, clean running water. And um, you would need also something to provide uh, oral care, um, like a mouthwash or even one of those spongy things on a stick that you can, or, or a toothbrush very soft that you can clean the inside of their gums with or whole oral cavity. Uh, you want a pen light because you do want to inspect the inside of their mouth um, if they want adhesive. That's something that you need to ask and be prepared for so so you have all your supplies. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do um, is, is don your gloves and, oh, you need to have gauze too, just in case, because if the patient can't take out their own dentures, you're going to have to help them. So you're going to use that gauze and you're going to put it over their teeth just to kind of hold their, to get a grip on those dentures like that, like that. So, if you have to take them out, you're going to try to pull like in a forward slash, like downward to the side um, fashion, easy, slow, and uh, put them in that little cup and do the same with the bottom, remove those. Uh, and then you're going to want to inspect the inside of their mouth. So the things you're going to be looking for, are you going to be looking for sores, um, any kind of sores? bleeding, swelling, all of those things, okay? Um, and then take those dentures to the sink to wash them. You know, that's just my, pre uh, my preference. And you're gonna have a washcloth that you're gonna put down in the base of the sink. Um, that's to keep from dropping and breaking those suckers. And when you're washing, um, when you go to wash the dentures, the temperature of the water is very important can't have it too cold and you can't have it too hot so something lukewarm would be nice um, or mildly warm uh, because if it's too cold it can crack them if it's too hot it can warp them and they would then possibly cause rubbing in the in the gums for the patient so you have your toothpaste you have your toothbrush you would need to um, scrub the dentures and um, kind of like the same way that you, that you would do with the teeth in like an up down circular motion but then you also need to make sure to clean the rest of the part of the dentures too so you're going to clean the the part for the gums on the underside um, and also the the back side you would need to to use a toothbrush and go kind of horizontally or just scrub you know the entire surface area um, of the dentures and if the the patient wants the dentures back in, then um, then you don't need to store them. If they don't want them back in, then they need to be stored in water. Okay, so that's how they're stored in like lukewarm water, or you can put some cleaning solution in there, whatever's approved for it. So after the after the dentures are, are nice and clean, um, your your patient um, can do oral care. Um, mouthwash, the whatever is um, whatever they they can do or you can do to clean the inside of their mouth a little spongy on a stick thing, you know, it could work. Um, and then they would need to spit it out 
Um, so, oh, you do need a little basin. So, um, that and you got, you got towels. Make sure their mouth is all nice and clean. Put their dentures back in. If they do want adhesive, you did grab that. It is there and um, that's available to them. Now, if they, if you got their gown wet, let's say you got their gown wet in any of these, any of these skills and you need to do a gown change. Um, that's always something you're going to look for whenever you go into a patient's room is if their gown is wet, if there's wet anywhere. Um, so quickly gown change, you know, um, you lay them black, lay them back, put either a bath blanket over them or the other gown and you're just going to lay it over the top. You're going to remove the other one, but if they have IV hooked up to it, you need to unhook it from the the uh, pole and and run it through the arms okay so you just need to make sure to not disconnect anything um, and then pull the old the soiled gown out from underneath it and make sure that you didn't get any of the paths underneath the water ones wet also dispose of everything um, put the bed back down clear off the bedside table make sure it's back within reach of the patient um, and uh, if you need to do, I'm going to cover nail care really quick. And if you need to do nail care, um, first of all, most places won't let you do it. From what I understand, check the patient's chart, understand whether they have a peripheral vascular disease, diabetes, peripheral neuropathy. Those are all contraindicated for foot care. And um, other than that, if the patient can sit, they can soak their feet for 10 minutes or so. Um, if they're in bed, bed bound, um, they can soak their feet. They would need to be sitting up, maybe put, put like a pillow underneath their, their knees and two basins of water um, that their feet are going to sit in and you would need to wash their feet and you would need to clip nails and toenails at the toe level at the, um, and, and file down with the emery board the sharp corners. So that's basically what you're doing. Again, make sure you clean up everything, make sure you document, and, um, and you're good to go.